Hey everyone, today we're diving into the world of bizarre Christmas characters you've probably never heard of. First up on our not so merry list is Father Whipper, and let me tell you, this guy is like Santa Claus's evil twin but without the jolly belly and the present. Father Whipper, also known as Old Man Whipper, hails from France and yeah, you heard me right, Old Man Whipper. He was the guy who'd give you a belt for Christmas and not the Gucci kind. Legend has it, this guy was a nasty innkeeper or butcher, depending on who's telling the story. He and his wife lured three boys into their shop, did the unthinkable and, uh, let's just say it involved a barrel and a sinister plot. Saint Nicholas brought the boys back to life because, you know, Christmas miracle and all that jazz. But here's the twist. Instead of punishing Mr. Kinky by turning him into a holiday fruitcake or something, Saint Nick was like, hey, wanna join my crew? Talk about forgiving. So Father Whipper starts tagging along with old Chris Kringle. While Saint Nicholas is busy giving out presents to the good kids, old Whippy here is in charge of the naughty list and he takes his job real seriously. We're talking about whipping, coal giving and just generally being the creepiest plus one at the Christmas party. So next time you're complaining about getting socks for Christmas, just remember, it could have been a visit from old Father Whipper here. Next up, we're jumping straight into a chapter of Greek mythology that even Zeus probably left out of his bedtime stories. Let's talk about the Kali Kansaros. These little nightmares are what you get if you cross gremlins with a deep disdain for the holiday season. Kali Kansaros, a gang of goblins or sprites, pop up during the 12 days of Christmas. Why just 12 days? Well, turns out they're otherwise occupied sawing away at the world tree for the rest of the year. They're like the union workers of mythical chaos, on the clock to bring down the cosmos. So Christmas rolls around and they're like, alright boys, it's time for our annual vacay. And up they come, wreaking havoc. These pint-sized party crashers sneak into your house, curdle your milk, douse your fires, and get this, they might even take a shit in your Christmas feast. Suddenly grandma's overcooked turkey doesn't seem so bad, huh? But hold on to your Santa hats, it gets weirder. Some stories say these guys kidnap people and force them into a marathon dance session. It's like being trapped in an eternal TikTok loop with creatures that haven't showered since ever. And the million dollar question, how do you keep these holiday hooligans at bay? Simple, leave a colander on your doorstep. Yes, that's right, a colander. These guys can't count past two. They'll spend all night counting holes and then poof, dawn hits and they vanish like a bad dream. Greek grandmas figured out home security before it was cool. Alright, next up is the story of Hans Trapp. Hailing from Alsace-Lorraine regions of France, Hans Trapp is essentially the boogeyman's scarier uncle, all decked out in his Christmas worst. Picture this. A towering sinister figure dressed in black looking more like a scarecrow than Santa. Now who was Hans Trapp in real life? Legend has it he was a big shot, rich and powerful but with a personality as pleasant as a porcupine in your pants. He got into a tiff with the church, a big no-no back then, and got himself excommunicated. Hans Trapp goes full supervillain mode. Rumor has it he sold his soul to the devil and hit the hills living like a hermit. We're not talking about the Zen meditating on a rock type, more like the brewing plants for revenge in a dark cave type. Now here's where things take a turn for the twisted. Old Hans develops a taste for, let's just say, unconventional cuisine. He plays dress up as a scarecrow, stuffing his clothes with straw, ready to pounce on unsuspecting victims, particularly kids. Yikes. These days, Hans Trapp shows up in Christmas parades alongside Saint Nick. Hans is there to dish out a dose of dread. Alright, up next we have to pack in our mittens cause we're heading up north to chill with the Nisse. So what's the Nisse you ask? Imagine if your garden gnome started walking around doing chores. These little guys, also known as Tomte in Sweden, are like mini guardians of the homestead. They help out with the animals, do a bit of tidying, you know, just elf things. But here's the catch. Nissa are about as stable as your aunt after two glasses of eggnog. They want respect, and by respect I mean a steaming bowl of porridge with a dollop of butter on Christmas Eve. Forget the porridge and it's game over, man. These tiny terrors flip a switch and go whatever the elf form of bad shit crazy is pulling pranks that range from mildly annoying to downright diabolical. They might just up and murder your livestock. Talk about overreacting. But wait, there's more. The Nissa don't just have a barnyard beef. 
Oh, no, no. They bring their grudges indoors. They'll sour your milk, spoil your food, and there are even whispers of them causing accidents. The moral of the story, keep your local Nisa happy, or else your cozy winter wonderland might just turn into a Nordic nightmare. There you have it, folks. Next time you're digging your holes and rocking around the Christmas tree, give a nod to the wild, weird and wonderfully wacky side of Yuletide folklore. And maybe leave out an extra bowl of porridge, just in case. Until next time, happy holidays and stay weird everyone.